I don't know if you've noticed, but um, I have more than one platform. TikTok is just wasn't just one of my other platforms. It wasn't my only one. But um, if you haven't noticed, the reason for this video, they say I got ter temporarily suspended or permanently banned. I'm not sure which. But the funny part about it is, why? Why did I get temporarily suspended or banned? Because of that? So, let me go ahead and stress out something to you. So, you don't like stuff like that, right? But you can have girls on there who are almost half naked, almost pushing the lines of nudity. But that's fine. You know, with a WAP or whatever. It's, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, it's, it's y'all's platform. It's y'all's organization. You gotta set the guidelines or whatever. But, really? <laughs> it's just funny because that, to me, literally has never inflicted any pain. Because this right here is fabric. It's cloth. This happens to have colors on it. That's all it is. To me, the way I was raised up, I'm a 90s baby, 93. The way I was raised up, is that this flag right here has always stood up for pride and heritage. So I think towards hatred, slavery, racism. I was never taught that. I was never taught to be racist towards anybody. Ever taught to belittle somebody because of their appearance or how they look. None of that. So you're mean to try to tell me. Because, okay, first and foremost. First and foremost. On TikTok, the entire time that I was on there, I preached nothing but unity. I never said anything one time about somebody's looks, skin color, never. Then all of a sudden you want to ban me for that? Okay, that's fine. Because guess what, sweetheart? I have another platform I can go to. Don't get paid for it. Could care less about being paid. Do I have... 57,000 people that follow me. I went close to almost 100,000 followers. Went a whole lot of, you know, a lot of hard work that I put into it. Didn't put my heart and soul into it. No, never did. Sure didn't. But the funny part about it is, you guys are being sensitive to people who want to show this, catals. And keep in mind, the reason why I'm saying catals is because I posted a video, matter of fact, back last year. It was about around whenever uh, the first, you know, New Year's was coming up, New Year's Shooters. I posted a video online by the New Year's Shooters on TikTok. Yeah, that mug within about an hour. It's community guidelines striked. Why? Illegal goods. So, you're going to try to tell me shooting... Technically, it's not even a weapon. It's not even a gun. Because by the uh, federal regulations, by federal law, a muzzleloader, a black powder, theoretically isn't a, a gun, technically. So you're going to try to tell me something that's that they're only just putting black powder in, some wadding, just to make a big old boom sound? It's not hurting anybody. Why? Well, because you, you, it looks like a because uh, it's a weapon. It looks like a weapon, and they're shooting it. And there's no harm done. There's nobody. There's no violence being, you know, being done or anything. So you're trying to tell me that that's not okay. But other people can do whatever they want. And like I said. For us, who wants to show towels, and this is not okay, right? But people who want to slander, show violence of like riots or this any other, won't talk hatred to our country. But that's freedom of speech, though, right? But showing this and showing that 
isn't though, right? Okay. Just wanted to go and make sure I got that right. Because last time I checked, we had the First Amendment, which is the right to free speech, right? So I feel that's what happened with me. And I got a buddy of mine who doesn't like the slacker one bit. And that's no problem with me. <clears throat> no problem with me. Because at the end of the day, you know, me and him, you know, we have a lot, we share a lot of things that we agree on. We're all humans. You know, we agree on some things. We don't want a lot of things. Just in our nature. Just what happens. And might I add, he's a black guy. He sees this in a lot of my videos that I made. Not once did he ever call me a negative name. Not once did I ever call him a negative name. If, if people want to move forward to the future, we got to stop thinking about color. Plain and simple. If you want to move into the future and want equality, I mean, all it comes down to respect. If you want respect, you're going you're to have to give it first. Plain and simple. <sighs> but all in all, TikTok, I'm very disappointed. There's nothing, I, there's nothing else more I could say. Because I've devoted so much time. Jesus Christ, it's like I'm 50. <laughs> but I've devoted so much time to that app, to that platform. Built such a huge audience. But for what? Just so you better cancel me? Or temporarily suspend me? No. It's not the way that works. I mean, it did work. But I'm not through. I'm not even close to being done. You guys are pathetic, man.